Greetings. Today we're doing a review of the Dash, what's this bad boy called? The Egg Bite Maker. Egg Bite Maker. And it has a little bit of uh, expose on the box there. You got the little uh, Velcro. And uh, what this does is makes little egg well, bites, um, uh, edible, delectable, edible egg, as they said in the 80s. So we're gonna unbox this bad boy and get right to it. It's kind of a putrid green. Uh, it comes with a CD-ROM, perhaps. No, it just looks like a CD-ROM. Uh, instruction manual, why it needs to be in that, I don't know. Um, this is a horrible color. I'll say that right off the bat. Comes in a little plastic. I'll throw that off the side. Little, uh, oh, there's your little, oh, they're rubber. They're not plastic. That's kind of cool. Um, I don't know how those don't melt. That's kind of weird. That's going to get really hot, and that's just... Hmm. A little crepe paper. There it is. Yeah, so, um, ugly color. Seafoam green, uh, I guess would be what this is. Uh, horrible color. Like a light turquoise and all. But uh, otherwise, it seems to be made pretty well. You put your little four egg things in here. They're not as big as I might have thought they were. And, you know, a little... Little teacup thing. So let's undo this. Start the preheating. Now eggs are a um, an awesome thing, and I'm I'm fascinated by people's breakfast selections anyway, because people with breakfast more than any other meal of the day, they always have like their own go-to. You know what I mean? People come in to a diner, and you could have 50 people eat. Uh, you know, you could be a waitress and serve 50 people in a breakfast morning you know, between 6 a.m. and 10, and every one of them is going to have something different. I'll have uh, two over easy, uh, soft bacon, and uh, buttered toast. And then the next guy comes in, he's like, uh, I'll have uh, three over hard and four poached and blah, blah, blah. Hard boiled, soft boiled, none of it makes any sense, okay? There's scrambled, there's fried. Um, that's kind of where it stops, all right? And uh, soft fried is kind of gross. I don't like it when all that stuff just runs out onto the plate. It gets a little disgusting. Um, as evidenced by the fact that I have not read about this yet. I don't know if, ooh, that's getting hot quickly. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make four different kinds of eggs today. So I've got my eggs here and uh, everything, and I'm gonna make four different kinds for four different occasions. Uh, you might think to yourself, well, what are the occasions? Uh, autumn, spring, summer, and fall. No, they're just different things. So we're gonna first make, we're gonna find out uh, how to do this. And I think all you do is, what's everything have to be in French? You can also make creme brulee, like, or yeah, creme brulee, like cheesecakes and stuff in this, which is kinda neat. Uh, so set the egg bite maker on a stable flat, heat resistant surface. I think that's what we have here. So step one is done. You don't need to preheat it, but doing so can decrease the cooking time. And it is heating up. This little seafoam bastard is getting quite warm. Fill one of the silicone, oh, they're silicone, okay. So they're like breast implant teacups, right? So fill one of these with water and pour it onto the heating plate. The heating plate, oh, okay, okay. All right. So let me just get some water here. So pour one. The hot, okay. This seems weird. Just one. Okay, I would have skipped that step. Uh, four, yeah, one. Okay, mm, fair enough. Um, whisk your eggs together. All right, so I've got a bowl here. <laughs> and uh, I need, yeah. I used to be able to crack an egg like with one hand and be awesome about it, but not so much out of practice. There's an art to that. All right, I got my whisker. And some of it went out of the bowl. No, it didn't. Yeah, it did. And it got in the instruction manual. That's a mess. Okay, so, ooh, it got, oh, that's the, from throwing it over, <laughs> I've dribbled. All right, uh, put them together. All right, so the first one we're gonna make is just a normal uh, sharp cheddar. So we're just gonna sprinkle some egg into the egg mixture and uh, fill the four silicone cones three quarters of the way full. Okay, so I've, I've made way too much because I thought it was gonna be like two eggs per cup, but that's 
that's clearly not going to be right. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to back up and punt. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that there. I'm going to, I guess you should make this in something you should pour. You could pour because this is going to make a dang mess. Whoa, easy, easy, easy. Got a big snot rocket there. All right, so I'm going to put this one off to the side. Now, I'm going to dump this out because I don't want cheese on the next one. And for this one, I'm just going to make one egg. Now, this one is, uh, with holidays coming up, we have uh, Halloween, obviously. So, for Halloween, I didn't mean to use that. I meant to use this. Um, with Halloween, uh, what better thing than a uh, Halloween omelet or a Halloween egg bite cup thing? So, what I've got is a Kinder Joy egg, a little chocolate egg. All right. I've never had these before, so I have no idea what this is. Um, in fact, I don't even know what this looks like inside of it. So we're going to find out together. What in the hell is this? Oh, that, put that in the egg thing. What is this, like a pencil eraser? I have no idea what I'm looking at right now. There's stickers in here. Is there chocolate in this? Did I buy something that was, I thought this was chocolate. Hold on. Oh, oh. So, so you have that, like a hard ball with goo. Okay, so this is to scoop it out. All right, so we just put this into the egg batter and we're gonna make a Halloween egg bite cup thing. And uh, these aren't as easy as they look to get out. This is a weird product. What is all the anime crap on the other side? So, mm, that's really good. It was a mess, but Okay, so put that off to the side. All right, now we need to whisk this, I guess. It's actually really kind of good. All right, so there's that. Um, and now I will pour this, hopefully, into one of the cups. Get the dang chocolate ball thing in there. Oh, oh man, that made a mess. Hang on. Yeah, definitely need to pour this into something that Towel. There's a lot of egg on the table, as we see, um, and I, I need to kind of wipe this off because I don't want it to like melt the. Actually, I don't know what it's going to do. All right, for the next one, uh, I'll clean that up in a second. The next one, we're going to get a uh, flaming hot Cheeto. All right, and uh, all we're going to do is kind of crush them up. So they're kind of dust and put a little flaky flake in there, right? That should be plenty. And then I'll take my egg and I'll crack it and I'll get the snot part to go in there. And I got Cheeto dust on me and then we whisk it again. I think the cups could be bigger on this. I mean, egg bites, yeah, but I mean, we're not making a lot of food here. It's kind of kind of goofy. I'm gonna crush those up a little bit. All right, yep, 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 yep. All right, so now I need another silicone cup. Let's see if this can pour. Oh yeah, I got a little bit more. It kind of looks like crab. Oh, oop, that ran out. I swear, look, look at this. Look at the mess I'm making over here. Ridiculous. All right, so I need to wipe this off and get that egg booger to stay. There we go. All right, and for our last one, dump that out, rinse it out so we get all the remnants of the other egg bite out. And uh, is this steam thing? Oh, it's steaming all right. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. You got to make sure it's not touching anything because this little bab got too much crap here. All right, so for the last one, let's say that you know, you've, um, you've been under the weather a little bit, you know? So you're like, I just feel, I felt like crap recently and got a head cold. I don't think it's COVID, but you know, I'm just struggling, you know? So you need yourself a little pick me up, right? So what do you do? You get a little Hall's cough drop and I think these are cherry, right? And you just need a little, a little egg bite pick me up. Now, the beautiful thing about Hall's is that 
Uh, when you do this, the paper is, uh, and I don't know this for fact, but um, it should be food grade. Uh, did you know that the stickers that they put on apples and fruit, that is edible grade um, paper. You can eat that stuff. Um, so I would imagine that this is much the same because it ain't coming off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get as much of it as we can. So we've got a little bit on there, but we'll just let that go. And then a little cough syrup, right? Because you don't want to, you wanna kind of suppress the cough and just a tad there. Now this is uh, over the counter, you know, nothing. It's not hydrocodone or anything crazy like that, but then we mix that up and we've got a weird concoction here. Now the trick for this one will be making sure that the cough drop is entered into the mix and not left in the bowl. All right, so I just realized that I have stopped reading the directions and this is where we're at. Okay, come here, a little cough drop. I'm gonna have to make this with a two-hander. Come on, come on, there we go. Yeah, ooh, that coming. All right, I'm done with the bowl. I can dump that out. This is a dang travesty. Oh, all right. Okay, so now I assume the next step is to put all this crap into places onto, okay, four. Da, 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 da. Okay, I've allowed them room to expand. We'll see about that. I don't think that's really the case, but now we put all these in here and there. Oh, I'm not showing you what we're doing. Sorry about that. And then uh, this little booger infested bastard here. And so now we have our spicy hot Cheeto. We have cheese. We have chocolate egg. And we have, I think this is the cough drop. One of these is the cough drop. I think this is the cough drop. It kind of looks darker in there. It's like a red center and some paper. So what we do is we close that. We close that, that little thing gets hot, man. All right, and now uh, use the lid handle to close, it's closed, okay. And let's see what else we got. Allow them to cook for seven to 10 minutes or until the water on the cooking surface has completely evaporated. You can open the egg bite to make sure and check your progress. When they're done, unplug it, turn it off, Remove the silicone cups and turn them upside down to allow them to release. If they're stuck, squeeze them. All right, so that's about it. So this uh, this little manual here, Manuel, it, uh, it says do not submerge in water. Scrub with a non-abrasive sponge. It's got a, a recipe guide in here. And uh, you can make all kinds of silly crap. Cheesy egg bites, egg bite breakfast sandwich, bacon, broccoli, cheddar, tomato, feta, egg, I should probably be timing this. It is um, nine after, I'll say it's eight after. Um, and in the meantime, I've got to find a way to clean this crap up. All right, so I seriously, I, I don't, if anybody can comment what all that crap is in the kinder bite, I don't, I don't understand that. That makes no sense whatsoever. Uh, it's just nasty. It's just got a bunch of anime and crap in there. It's kind of weird, kind of weird. Um, and we will need a lot of stuff to clean this up with and, uh, everything. All right. So now what we have to do is kill some time. So yeah, uh, seems like a lot of prep work for something that you could just dump into a frying pan, um, you know, and a, a skillet or whatever, and not have to make all this mess. Um, because like I said, they don't really pour that well. I'm going to take a sneak peek here for the kids. All right. Oh, they're not even close to being ready. Um, but yeah, like why wouldn't you just get a get a pan, you know, throw some olive oil or whatever and throw some eggs in there, it'd be done. I mean, cooking eggs, scrambled eggs is like one of the easiest things time-wise to make on planet Earth. Why would you try to involve it with this, you know? And I can't think of a situation where you would want this, that it would, uh, you know, bypass your, your normal way of just cooking eggs. It's kind of silly, really. It's kind of silly, really. Um, but, I mean, even like in a college dorm or something like this, this isn't going to take the place of anything. I mean, look at, the, 
Look at the mess it makes. I mean, I've got three afterbirth piles here of all kinds of nonsense, uh, just because you have to pour that stuff into a cup. So one thing I would say that would make this a lot easier is uh, get a measuring cup, um, you know, and then something with a pour spout, and uh, that would that would obviously be a lot better. So yeah, it is now, it has been five minutes. No, it's been three minutes. I'm sorry, I can't count. Hey, they're getting there. The Cheeto one is starting to solidify a lot more. Now, I wonder, yeah. So when you put that in there, you don't think it's that much water, but with the displacement, when all four of the containers are in there, it makes the water go uh, pretty equal across the board. And that's what allows it to cook it all. I'm gonna get something to clean all this mess up real quick while I wait. <clears throat> but yeah, it is kind of, uh, it's kind of weird how many types of eggs there really are. Uh, you've got obviously scrambled, you've got over easy, you've got uh, hard boiled, soft boiled, medium boiled, I think. Um, that kind of crap. Then you've got, uh, what a mess. Um, then you've got the one that comes in the little, the little, the little stem thing that it sits in there and you tap it and eat. I don't even know what that is. Um, you have poached, which is like you're hunting white rhino or something. Uh, poached, I think, is where, I think that's where you just crack the egg and, and then roll it into boiling water and it just kind of solidifies and floats there, kind of like a dumpling or something. I think that's poached. Um, uh, what else is there? Sunny side up? The hell is that? Um, and you know what's crazy is like, I feel like I could be a waiter tomorrow, like, it's not that hard a job. I could do that. And I'm not saying it's easy. I'm just saying it's not that hard to master. Like, you give me a couple of days, I got that down. You know, I got a great memory. I could memorize. I could be one of those people who just memorize everything and just, you know, I have to write anything down and all that crap. But I, I feel like the hardest part about being a, a waiter or a waitress is uh, knowing how many damn types of eggs there are because you got to be able to relay that stuff to the cook. Sunny side up. Of course, I guess that's not really that hard because all you're doing is talking. Uh, the cook, that, that short order cook guy, he's got to know his eggs, you know, and it's astounding. I'd love to know how many eggs. I wonder, I wonder what uses more, like more eggs at Waffle House or milk gallons at cookout. Cause, uh, man, those places, I, you look at a cookout, right? And it's like, what are those places? Like maybe 800 square feet or something. Where are they put all that milk? I mean, they've got to be, I mean, you make a milkshake. If you can take a gallon of milk, take a milkshake, well, what is that like? 12, 16, you know, milkshakes per gallon, perhaps. Uh, that would go pretty quick. Let's test our, let's try our, uh, check it out here. There we go. Ooh, well, it's starting to smell like eggs now, but it's still a little, these silicone things are pretty impressive. I guess silicone doesn't melt at the temperature I thought it melted. It's kind of a long process. Uh, 14, after we started this about six minutes ago. So in about four minutes, this should be good. I'm gonna get a new plate because I have salmonella egg on that plate. And once they come out, we will try them. And when we try them, we will rate them. And when we rate them, we will decide which ones are the best as evidenced by the rating system. Uh, but what was I saying? Yeah, so that, that shorter guy, he's got to be able to bang it out, man. It's like Kramer says, you know, a vet is the real doctor. He's got to be do a pig, a chicken, a goose, a duck, a dog, you know, and all that stuff. Uh, you got to be able to crunch all that stuff out and not, not, have a, not have a care in the world as to how... This is really taking a long time. Uh, I should have made this off camera, mixed it up, and... Uh, or, uh, I know, this is why the Today Show and QVC and stuff. This is why they cook it off camera because there's just a lot of filler time. Uh, let's check it again. Oh yeah, it's still a little watery. And we're still, there's no, there's no buttons on this thing. It basically, when you plug it in, it's on. So uh, there's nothing I can do to speed this up. Um, this is just where we're at. Uh, so again, the Dash company, um, I got this at Target. Uh, wandering around Target the other day. I was looking for something and uh, didn't find it, but I did find this and I was like, hmm, that looks interesting. Let me try it out. 
I seriously have no idea. Oh, it's a, it's like a shirt. That's like a figure. You put it together. That's kind of dumb. I would have never guessed that that's what was inside that chocolate egg thing. Um, I bought Hershey Kisses because I figured, oh, that would be, that would fit really easily into the thing. But then I saw that and I'm like, oh, an egg and an egg. That makes even more sense. But it's not even an egg. It's just a couple chocolate balls stuck in some white, like, Oreo sauce or something. I don't know. I feel like I'm diminishing the cooking properties by continuing opening this. But, oh, we're starting to, yeah, we're starting to solidify up a little bit. Um, you can kind of tell. It smells like a pancake in here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is, oh, this is, yeah, we'll be there. We will be there. This is taking a little longer than I thought, but you can fast forward. But uh, uh, it's 16 after. Uh, it's been eight minutes. So, we had two more minutes, and we're going to try this. Hopefully, it's not too hot. Um, uh, is it, it will be coming off of a little griddle, a little mini griddle. Why they chose sea foam is an odd color because, I mean, out of 20 kitchens, how many is that really going to match? You know, most people don't go with a sea foam, you know, decor. It's usually grays and whites and blacks. And I think it's really starting to churn up a little bit. It's boiling the water. Hmm. It's interesting. It does put off some heat, though. I'm going to tell you, that thing's not playing around. It's like uh, Grace Jones in the early 80s, just putting off a lot of heat. Mm, that was a really weird reference, and I don't know where my mind comes up with some of these things, but that's what popped into my head. So that's what I said, which is typically what happens with me. Uh, but yeah, so there is, as I said, there's some dessert um, things. You can make an egg bite, caramel custard, and I'm going to tell you, let's talk about caramel custard real quick, because creme brulee, right? Probably my favorite dessert of all time. You, put, you make a nice creme brulee the crusted, you know, brown sugar, and then, you know, a couple raspberries or something on top. Wee wee. Right, but here's what I found out. I, I decided I would make it at home, so I bought some ramekins. Those little thin dishes that creme brulees come in. You know what that is? You just get a double boiler, and you put, like, eggs and sugar. I think, I haven't made it in a while, but it's like eggs and sugar. You just beat it in a double boiler for a while. It solidifies. You pour it in a ramekin, you stick it in the refrigerator for a couple hours, let it harden, and then uh, you sprinkle brown sugar on it. You get your little <laughs> torch, <laughs> burn it down, put some fruit on it, bam. I mean, it's like 42 cents in ingredients and they charge like $78 for that stuff in a restaurant. All right, we're at 18 minutes. So this, is, this should be the 10 minute mark. So I'm gonna dump these out. Oh yeah. All right, so pull this down. So here's what we got. Here's the Cheeto one. Hot, hot. <laughs> This should come with some tongue. Ah, man. That's a little warm. I'm going to use my fork to make. Oh, yeah. There's the little hot. God bless America. Oh, you can't hold. Why do I keep doing that? Why, why don't they give you something to. Man. Hot. Yep. yep. Come on out. You're burning my hand. Ah, it's a good thing I don't feel pain. All right, and I think this is the normal one. Woo! Yeah, this this is just a lot of work for not a lot of pay. Man, not a lot of pay. That one didn't even come close to, I mean, the bottom's hard, but that was the cheese one. I mean, it looks like a scrambled egg inside. And then here's your cough drop one. Hot, hot, hot. I mean, we gotta plug this bastard. I mean, I'm, I'm sweating sitting here. I mean, and like, I'm not just like beating up a little bit. It's It puts out some heat, let me tell you. Uh, whoo, that one came out easy. It's got a little, little red color to it from the, uh, cough drop. All right, so let me close this little hot bastard. Not melt everything it touches. All right, so I'm gonna try the, uh, what's left of this. I don't know why the normal egg is the one that didn't solidify. It's not really. I taste like, um, you know how when you're boiling an egg and it cracks and escapes some of the egg? That's what that tastes like. It's just like really watery. All right, and this is the hot Cheeto one. Yeah, the inside did not cook well. Uh, it's really watery inside. Bon appetit. Two things. One, that's not good. The, the consistency. 
But two, put some hot Cheetos in your eggs, your scrambled eggs. That's not a bad concoction, all right? I'm gonna go with the chocolate egg now and uh, let's see where this goes. I'm mimicking uh, Mr. Creosote in uh, Monty Python, uh, where he's, you know, the meaning of life. He's, bon appetit, John Cleese. That, that even tastes like an egg. That's that's weird. All right, and here's the cough drop. Hmm. All right, the Cheeto is by far the winner, and it sucks too. But to get the cough drop taste out of my mouth. All right, so. Oh, this is gross. Don't buy this. Absolutely no need for this. It's just a gimmicky piece of crap. So, what we've learned today is that that's really hot. Yet it's so hot it doesn't cook food very well. Um, the 10 minutes it was allotted didn't get it done. Um, some of those creations that I made were disgusting. And uh, it costs like $20. Two dollars or something for what? I mean, go get you a skillet and dump some hot Cheetos in it, and then you're good. Okay, so don't buy this. Uh, one out of ten. Oh, I gotta go clean all this crap up. Nasty.